Here at the Royal School of Needlework, we teach the art of hand embroidery and a wide range of different techniques and stitches. We have been teaching needlework since we were founded in 1872. Back then, Queen Victoria was our royal patron. Our current royal patron is the Duchess of Cornwall, who we were delighted to welcome recently and present her with her very own selfie. In this video, we'll be showing you how to start your project from creating your design, transferring the design onto the fabric and framing up ready to start. If you're feeling confident with your artwork, you can draw your design straight onto your fabric without any plan. If you're not feeling so confident or you want to sketch out your design first, you could sketch it onto paper or you could use a program to print out a design. We've used the Power Mantra Inspire. I've adapted it slightly to illustrate the word. I've then traced the design through to the other piece of paper so that you can create an outline of your word or your design. This makes it easier to stitch. You only need to draw on the outlines of your shape. This can be traced straight through to your fabric using either a light box or a window, or you can see it straight through if you're using a fine fabric like this handkerchief. These handkerchiefs will be available in your kit if you have one. So you can transfer your design preferably using a mechanical pencil. This will give you a nice fine line so that you can cover up your lines when you're stitching. You can use an ordinary pencil or a heat erasable pen, but sometimes these lines can be a little bit thick and difficult to cover up. So a mechanical pencil is preferable if you have one. So once you've got your design drawn onto your fabric, you then need to put that into your hoop. So if you take the outer ring of your hoop off and place your fabric on the inner ring, you then want to place the outer hoop over the top of the fabric and push it down. You then need to tighten the screw and adjust the fabric. You just adjust the fabric, gently pull the fabric to make sure there are no wrinkles and no bubbles and that the fabric is as tight as it can be. This can take a little bit of adjustment. The tighter your frame is, the nicer your tension will be when you're stitching. Once all the bubbles are out, you're ready to start. In your kit, you'll also find an RSN tote bag that you can also embroider onto the back. So there's a blank piece there that you can work with. Um, if you're working with a garment or a, a bag, uh, perhaps a piece of clothing, you may not want to use a hoop because it's a little bit tricky to get to the area that you want to get to. So you would work this by putting your hand inside and stitching through to the top and the bottom at the same time without using the hoop. Um, so you might want to do that if you don't have a hoop or you prefer not to use a hoop or you just have a difficult garment that you want to work with. So when you're using a handheld hoop like this one, you want to remember to bring your hoop up to your face to keep your neck nice and straight. And just bend with your neck slightly and use your eyes to look down. Don't take your hoop down to your table and bend forward because this will cause you problems with your neck. So just remember, bring your hoop up to your face and keep your back nice and supported in your chair. So if you're using stranded cotton for your project, you'll need to separate your threads, but also you wanna think about the length of the thread that you're using. Your thread length should be approximately shoulder width apart or about half a meter. You don't want your thread very too long. Uh, if your thread is too long, you'll be making windmills with your arms. So you need your thread about shoulder width apart. Cut your piece of thread, the required length, and then you'll need to separate the strands. You can use it with all six strands together, but if you want to use one or two strands, you need to separate the strands so that they lay flat when you're working. The easiest way to do this is to hold your thread in one hand, take one single strand from the top and pull and keep pulling straight up in the air until it pulls all the way through. That will stop you getting in a knot. If you try to pull them apart sideways, they'll get tangled up. So the best thing to do is to take a single strand from the top and pull it all the way through until it comes out clean. You can then put the two pieces back together, ready to go in the needle, nice and flat. To thread your needle, wrap your thread around the end of the needle 
so that it loops around the end. Pinch very tight to the thread around the needle and slide the needle out. Then sliding your thumb up, make a crease in the thread to make the thread as small as possible. Then push the creased thread through the eye of the needle and grab with your thumb as you pull through. You'll need to put a knot at the far end of your thread. To do this, hold the tail of the thread on your finger, wrap around your finger, push the tail up and then roll the thread, grab and pull to create your knot. Now you're ready to start stitching your design, click on the next video and I'll show you how to do some basic outline stitches.